All right, so welcome back to another episode of Here's High Black Border. Continuing on with the advanced maps, the map I want to do today was Cargo. Cargo is a pretty, I guess I would say kind of intermediate among the advanced maps. Definitely isn't really anything that's like too overly difficult in my opinion, just because since, you know, we have water enabled, this is a really great map for subs. And so we will be going for a sub commander strategy today with probably my favorite skin in the game, Bookworm Etienne. I really do like this skin. I think Etienne, um, just in general, has some of the best skins in the game. I think like the alien skin, Etienne, really awesome skin. And Bookworm is just as good, if not even better, honestly. Now, normally I don't really go for Etienne, honestly, like kind of too often, even though I do like his skins and just kind of like him as a hero in general. But today we're gonna be doing kind of a village-less run here. Um, I don't really want to go for ice platforms when going for sub commanders, so we'll be skipping out on mid. Thankfully, um, we don't have to worry about like leads too much just because uh, glue storm exists. So we'll have that to kind of delight everything. And then Etienne can kind of take care of the candle portion. So DT's late game won't be too much of an issue. Just gonna make sure I use the ability whenever DT's are on screen. Now outside of sub commander and glue storm, not really sure what else I would do. Maybe invest the rest of my support, but we should have a lot of money just kind of left over in general as um, sub commander and um, glue strike isn't very expensive. Um, so we should have a lot of money kind of left over. Maybe we could save up for another expensive tier five. Who knows? Who knows? I think it would be kind of fun to save up for like a tier five that's like forty plus thousand dollars. I don't know. Maybe go for something like Mob Dom. That'd be kind of funny. But probably not. I feel like Mob Dom might be a little bit of a nerf just because of um, uh, it's because it does a lot of good Mob damage, but the Rams so is just gonna like run on by. So I'm gonna get Etsy in. I think right here is fine, or maybe here ish. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully, I am making my decision, so I'll place them here. It doesn't really matter. It's not like I really need anything kind of in range here, but I don't know. I guess just maybe having more space for the, uh, here might be fine. It's not like Etienne's drones are going to be doing a whole lot of mob damage like him, so I guess it's fine. Also, hopefully, we're not dead here. Can you snipe? Nope. All right, so I'm going to put Etienne here just a bit earlier. Seeing as this uh, round 15 was a pretty problematic round, I'll just put this guy in strong to see if we can pop them on the balloon, so hopefully that... Dark Monkey and Etienne will have too much to clean up. I don't think we'll be able to afford a second Twin Guns by next round, which would help out uh, quite greatly. Although we'd be able to afford it mid-round, but I think it might be a bit too late. I think if we just pop all down the yellows to like pinks and whatnot, pop like the, pop the pinks down, um, we should be able to clean them quite nicely. Um, I feel like that was barely, yeah. But all right, uh, second twin guns now, so it should be fine. I believe that Etienne will be able to detect camo by the time the first camo comes in on 24. So I think I'm uh, free to save for air burst and then just go for kind of a standard mid game sub setup. Now the great thing about kind of water is I feel like um, just having subs honestly just kind of makes the game pretty trivial. Um, if you kind of ask me, I feel like sub just overall is just such a strong tower. I'm surprised that you know air burst hasn't really been changed in like any way, shape, or form. Well, I feel like the community would definitely kind of riot if um, Airburst ended up getting nerfed or something. Even though there's only two water towers in the game, you know, the both two pure water towers are just like so strong that's kind of absurd, honestly. Now that I think about it, I think Etienne maybe here might be a tad bit better so that way subs can see right here. Also, we can't see him. Perfect. Don't have to worry about that. And then for LEDs, we're just going to go for Alk. So I can definitely see why Ninja QE is kind of hesitant to place like a lot of good water spots on extra maps. As um, extra maps can definitely be cheesed if you have like, you know, sub early game. Or like even boat now with kind of Pirate Lord. Also, let me just use this this round. I don't really know if um, the sub and Etienne can handle all the camos, but hopefully they can. Uh, we do gain UAV next round, so it should be, or not next round, but we do gain it pretty soon. So it should be fine. I think 37 has camo whites, but we shouldn't be too bad for that round. Also, since the mob's going to be coming here on this lane, I do need some kind of intel. So maybe I can maybe get base boomer down. Um, see if I can save it for mob dom. If I can't, you know, that's kind of fine. I could always um, skip out on mob dom and just go for press. First, let's go for armor piercing darts first. That'll be a pretty good mid game carry. And then we just kind of start building up. I think maybe two air, uh, AP darts should be enough. Okay, so I'll get base boomer right here just in case. I do, I do decide to get Mob Dom. If the money's even there is also another thing. Alright, so the mob's gonna be coming in next round. We should be fine. I'll get another Airburst. 
And if this doesn't work, I'll be very disappointed in sub. I'll use this. And then we should clean up pretty easily. Perfect. Yeah, so we'll go for kind of two air bursts, and then we'll go for stronger stim, and then that should honestly be all I need to kind of settle for the next few rounds. Up until 63 anyway, so we should be able to get sub commander by then. This round is a bit scary, so we'll just use UCAP here. Also, I do love the new kind of UCAP skin. Having kind of a dragon flying around is pretty cool. I know, I'm probably tired of gushing over me gushing over a book runner at TM, but just really such is a good skin. Ninja Kiwi definitely does have a favorite tower, or hero, I should say. All right, sub commander has been acquired, and then I don't really know where I want to get glue. I think I might get glue right here just to kind of slow down Saram's late game. Not that's really going to make too much of a difference, but I mean, who knows? It might. I'm not really sure how many subs I want to get for the sub commander army. I'm thinking maybe go for like four or something. But first, I think I want to go for glue now. I think two is enough for now. Now, so we're going for a tap path, just so that way glue will soak through all layers. So that way you don't have to kind of use the ability kind of multiple times. I'll just have to use it once and then there's just that. And I feel like glue is my help out for 63 too, slowing down um, the balloons just in case, because the Cerams are going to be coming from here. So that does mean that Sub Commander won't really have a ton of time to be able to kind of pop the Cerams. And LEDs also might be an issue, so I'm kind of hoping that um, Alchemist can clutch up. Let's just see how the wave is. Uh, kind of close, but I think we can maybe be fine if glue just doesn't suck. And I glue alchemist just kind of doesn't suck. Pops all the leads. Um, okay, got to use that. That is unlucky. It spawned from here, and so that it couldn't hit the balloons here. But we could have beaten that round if there just wasn't a better spot. Alright, we've made it back to round 63, and I think to avoid doing the same thing that I did last time, I'm just going to use this ability just kind of a bit earlier. I think maybe now is fine, and then for the last wave, I don't even know. Okay, so that should work this time. It's really just kind of the leads that are the problem, since, you know, AMD isn't really thrown too often. We're just kind of um, chilling as that. So hopefully the last wave can come out pretty soon. Also, glue strike now. Well, I guess it's a bit too late for that. That wave is done, and I think from now this should be a lot of be an easier time. It's really just kind of um, just kind of the balloon rounds gonna be a problem. Once you know we get into like rounds 80 plus, I think we should honestly be fine. Since we won't have balloons to worry about, we just have to worry about um, just mobs. Now I think I want to go for one more sub just to help out a bit with mid game before I go for um, glue storm. And then depending on when I afford everything is when I, if I'll decide if I want to go for um, uh, if I want to go for mob dumb. If not, if I decide not to, this isn't really too useless. I could always go for some like Permachad or or maybe even just a regular mob press. And since this is an advanced map, Etienne levels up pretty quickly. He's already level 13. We might be even, we may be able to get level 20 before round 90. And so that would be pretty nice as UCAP could definitely up out a little bit. Also, this round is kind of scary. I'll use drones here just to help out against the mobs. As you can see, this map is kind of awkward with kind of the mob track, um, just being kind of where it is, especially when um kind of balloons rounds. Your defense is mainly going to, if you're going for like water only, it's going to be comprised up here. It's kind of really the only spot. I guess there's maybe here, but you don't really have as much space. 75 might be a bit of a problem round because there's leads that can block. Um, This definitely is a strike round. I haven't had to use it yet, but I guess I'll kind of wait. I can maybe use it now. Just to get rid of the leads, because the BFBs should be no problem. Uh, 76. I'll just use this preemptively. Take no chances. And then it should be up for 78. Actually, we get this up for 78. And it's around 77. I think we can actually honestly go for Mob Dom, so I'm going to commit. And even if we can't commit to Mob Dom completely, this could always be useful as a Mob Press, so it's fine. As stalling mobs, I think will come in handy. Um, let me use that. And if it's not up for the second wave of Cerams, I always have UCAV I could use. Yeah, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself when it comes to making like, defense. I still need more subs. I don't think this is kind of enough. I'm gonna fit maybe as much as I can fit uh, here. I think I'll get like 
I think this will be the amount of subs I get. So that'd be what? One, two, three, then a fourth one. So I guess like, what is it? Five AP darts and then, uh, then a regular sub commander here. I think it'd work. Let's just get this now. And I don't know if I want to go for another alchemist so I can get maybe all the subs buffed here because I think it's only really buffing like, you know, th these two consistently and then this one's getting a buff on it like every now and then. But once we beat round 79, we should definitely have a lot easier time. Not having to worry about the balloons that are coming from here, just really just kind of mobs. And I think I'll maybe hold off an elk because I feel like Glue Strike, Glue Storm is kind of our elk here. Alright, level 16. So it does seem like we are going to be able to get a UCAV up before level before round 90, which is pretty cool. So I guess so that'll be additional help against DTs. Not that really DTs are kind of a worry sub commander, it's not too bad against them, combined with Glue Storm. So we should be okay. I just have to remember to use the ability. And now that we've got our subcommander army up, we are breezing through these rounds. These are no problem at all. Don't even have to use Blue Storm. Because UMG is going to be no problem as long as you kind of pop them uh, one at a time. 98 might be an issue if we can't actually get Mob Dump up by then. Because um, that's going to be a lot of Cerams that are coming in. And it's kind of a Pierce issue that's going to be happening that round. We'll definitely have enough damage, but Pierce is going to be a problem. Alright, 89 here. Should just use Strike immediately. We should hopefully be fine. Uh, I don't really mind using UCAP this round because UCAP can't hit DTs yet. So we need level 20, which I guess we're not going to get. We're pretty close, but I mean, it's not like I desperately need it. I just need to make sure that um, uh, Blue Storm is up by round 90. So let me just use this to clear this out. Fortifieds are kind of being a little bit of a pain. And as soon as DTs come out, they should just get melted. Oof, that wasn't really as good as I thought it would be, but I think we should be fine for the upcoming rounds, like, you know, 93. Uh, 95 might be a bit of a problem if we can't even get this guy before 95, which I don't think we'd be able to. I think I'll have to invest money into, like, support. Sabo, I think, is going to be a must here. Also, Cerams are kind of pushing. Uh, please tell me we're not dead here. That's fun. I sure do love restarting from round one again. You know what? I'm thinking that we don't even need Mob Dump, because we already have another tower at home called the Super Mankey. Also, let me use that real quick. And then Super Mankey is going to carry us to victory here. The one we're going to be going for is Tech Terra. Tech Terra is a pretty good tower. And with the money we have, we saved up uh, the other run, we should be able to kind of afford it. I think I'm going to skip out on like maybe a couple of um, subs just because they weren't really doing too much, to be honest. So I think from here, we can honestly just save it for Super Mankey. Whoops, also, let me use that for you. Die. I think the Tech Terror ability will definitely come in handy. Now, so I'm just going to use UCAV for this round. I think we should be fine for um uh, for 80 anyways, even without the extra subs here. Also, we'll be going for Top Crop Faster Monkey. I know some of y'all are probably cringing in the comments, but we're going to be using this Tech Terror for damage and not necessarily utility, which is why we're going to be going for Top Path. Plus, at the end, I don't really feel like we really need Ultra Vision anyways. Anyways, I think I'm going to save money by not actually even going for um, uh, Class and Blast. Just going straight for Tech Terror. Um, even, you know, even though Tech Terror can pop LEDs naturally with its upgrade, um, it still is worth going for kind of top path just because you do gain extra attack speed with the top path, if you didn't know. Which is why it's kind of an either or situation, like both cross paths can be good depending on what you're using it for. Although I can definitely tell we're kind of struggling without the kind of extra subs helping out here, but I think we should be fine. I believe in the power of Robo Monkey, and as well as glue, which I think I'll use glue for this round. And mobs are kind of pushing just a little bit. And as soon as we get Tech Terror, it should be, should be a little bit better. The one thing about Tech Terror is kind of ability timing. So if I use the ability kind of at the wrong time, we're kind of screwed here. So let me use this now. We should have it up for 85, so I'm not worried. All right, Tech Terror now. So we should be a little bit better. And I think we can honestly just kind of invest the rest into support. I think Tech Terror and Subcommander should be able to carry us to victory here. I believe in the power of Sir Monkey. All right, so we got Moab Press. Nice. I think I might go for maybe like one more sub and then I'll like get like some Sabos. Uh, maybe, maybe Snowstorm. Snowstorm could help out a little bit. Now, if I do go for Snowstorm, I gotta do keep in mind that Subcommander can't pop Frozen. So I wanna make sure I don't screw myself by using it at the wrong time. 
Also, let me get a uh, glue storm for this round. I can definitely tell fortified ceramics are kind of a problem right now. Whoops, that is the wrong ability. But I think it's fine. I don't think we'll need it for 91. Uh, Etienne's 19, so we can get um, uh, can get Parma Ucab up pretty soon here. I think I'll have to use Tech Terror this round. There is a lot of balloons here. Uh, when I want to use it though, is the question maybe now? There we go. Perfect. So we clear all the BFBs. All right, let's just get Sabo ready. I don't know where to put it. I guess I'll just put it here for distraction. Maybe that'll do something. Uh, 92, I think I'll have to use a uh, glue storm, which I guess we'll even do now. I could buy this, but I'll just save my money just in case. Because I do think we need a first strike for round 100 also. Uh, are we completely good here? Um, Let me get that. I think when you have up, we're fine, but 92 is a bit close there. All right, there we go. Also, that is a cool looking dragon for level 20. Okay, I almost died there by forgetting that I need to use glue for um uh, for DDT rounds. Thankfully, we just like barely clutched up there. I think maybe even two Sabos, who knows. We're just kind of stalling as long as possible for the Tech Terra ability. Okay, so this will definitely be a Tech Terra round, but when I want to use it is the question. I would go for Mob Glue, but glues don't stack, unfortunately. So that won't be too useful. Um, I guess maybe we pop down the ZMGs or when things get pretty far. Um, let's see. Do I want to use it now? Because I don't think this guy skips through layers. Correct me if I'm wrong here. Uh, what if happens if I use it now? That's the wrong ability. Um, okay, that should be fine. I, we get another Savo up and 95. It kind of takes a while for DTs to come in anyway, so... That's kind of my bad, but oh well. And that thing will just kind of save my money here. All right, let's use that. Let's use Sabo. We're just kind of see if we can stall for Tech Terror. If we even need Tech Terror is the thing. But um, once Sabo wears off, we might start struggling a little bit. Who knows? Let's see. Okay, so I think Sabo just wore off, but that didn't really matter too much. All right, perfect, perfect. I think in terms of support, I'm not even sure what else I would even get. Um, this definitely is a Tech Terra round, maybe. I'm kind of saving my money here because we might need a Spike Storm or something else for around 100. I think if I could uh, squeeze in hopefully another Sabo just and, and skip out the first strike and just get Spike Storm. I think um, Sub Commander and Tech Terror do have good damage within them. And so three uh, Sabos is kind of like what, like 75% uptime on the ability. I think four grants you like 100%. Uh, I'll use this now. 97 I don't think is too bad, it's just two fortified ZMGs. Um, I kind of want to save my Sabos for 98, because that round's a bit scary. Um, I'll use this ability, because everything else is on cooldown. Alright, we got glue up just barely in time. Okay, so we got... Okay, so press should stall out quite a lot, so thankfully there's that. Need to hurry up and get Glue Storm active. I don't really want to use Tech Terra yet. I kind of want to use it to like finish off the round if I can. Okay, so we got that. Use on yet another Sabo. I think I need to use it now. Um, that felt a bit earlier though. Is the thing? Is the thing? Um, we pop all ZMGs. I can barely tell what's happening. I think we beat 98. Perfect. Okay. The thing is, 99, we don't have abilities. That's great. Perfect. Um, okay, okay, we have it now, but I had to use a storm. Hopefully that doesn't end up being hurting me. And then here comes Ren Hunter. We don't really have too much active. Um, Spike Storm is going to take a while to come on cooldown, if it even does. We do have Tech Terror coming up, so I guess there's a saving grace there. I got another Mob Shredder just 
see if it does something. Uh, okay, so... I'm gonna use glue now. Um, I'll detect terror insides. Okay, Sabo again. I don't know, Spike Storm. And we did it. That took a lot longer than need to, as dying on 91 was pretty annoying. But there was that Cargo Chimps. Bit of a scuffed run, if I do say so myself. If I definitely had a bit more planning, I probably could have saved some money here and there. But overall, I guess it wasn't really too bad. Just like doing kind of a playing by ear type of thing. But that was pretty fun overall, if at times it's just a tad bit tedious.